Hey guys, what's up? It's Johnny Glock. <clears throat> I'm gonna shoot a little video here. I'm down here at Quick Draw. Say hi to Timmy. Doing his doing his skills there. Uh, anyway, so I start out with this gun. Showing you some of these guns. I'm gonna show you some uh, progress here. So basically, the red lines indicate where we're starting at with this. Okay, this is how it came. Red line there, and then it's gonna go to break. The green line is actually where I'm gonna put the gun. So. From red line to red line is a half an inch, and then from the green mark, there's about three sixteenths across. So, basically, there's your reset. I mean, there's the break to the over travel. Like I said, the phenomenon with an aluminum trigger shoe is that you can see that it is uh, travels back a little bit more. So, from that's the full movement of the shoe, as you can see right there. So, I'm going to bring it down now. like magic I've already designed something to the same bar same spring this is the thing that I created and not that I created the actual housing but modifications to the housing I'm gonna install that put it in here pop the pins back in And you'll be able to see that all of a sudden, bring this back up here. Now, the resting position is where the green is. Okay? And that's actually the wall, and that's actually where it's going to break. And then the break is going to stop where the end of the green is. I know these tapes get, these things get a little bit nasty, but you can see right there. Even with over travel taken into consideration, you're still only, it's, okay, there we go. See the tip of the trigger? Break, break. So, you guys see that I'm not monkeying with these values, but, um, and that was just from changing one aspect of it. I have to still um, do a bunch of different stuff. That's just the beginning of it where I'm starting to change the, um, you know, the values of where the trigger rests, where it hits the wall, where it breaks, um, how it resets and stuff like that. And you can see I only changed one part in there. Um, that's the, the kind of the knowledge of knowing what to do with these things. And next we're gonna start working on um, sear engagement and the striker and springs and all the other stuff. This was just the very beginning of it where I'm changing those values from a trigger that's moving a half inch from resting position to over travel um, to a 3 sixteenths of an inch from resting over travel break. That all happens very shortly. So you're like break back and forth like this in that green area, resting, swinging back like this with the with the uh, Overwatch precision as it comes. That's why people send me this stuff to actually take all the uh, riffraff out of the front and the back. So that was just a short video I wanted to get up there. And um, just stay tuned because there's going to be a bunch more coming up within this week or so. All right, adios.